Thayato Convention kicks off on a air high note with 1,000 plus registration. Coming after a long gap, Ayato Convention at Lucknow has started with lots of hopes and aspiration. Speaking on the occasion, Ravi Gosai, Convention Chairman, in his welcome address said, And we are back to the city of Nawabs after 26 years. The theme of this convention is inbound tourism, what lies ahead. It has been kept viewing the hugely successful vaccination drive led by our Honorable Prime Minister, Shri Modiji, and Minister of Development Infrastructure and last mile connectivity strengthened by the borders opening up. We will be delighted to hear about them from our policymakers. The well-drafted and thought-provoking business sessions, a special session on Uttar Pradesh, and the presentation by participating state governments will strengthen the network and the framework that uh, will be a part in the present scenario to take tourism forward as India has opened up to the world with safety, hygiene and security. Rajiv Mehra, President Ayatou, outlined his commitment to boost tourism in Uttar Pradesh, he said. We have more than 20 participating states this time here. And as Mr. Ravi Gusai mentioned, some of the states have come for the first time. I welcome all those states led by their secretaries or director tourism to this convention. Well, we are all grateful to the Honorable Prime Minister of India for the unprecedented and global acclaimed vaccination drive that positions India as a safe destination and utmost care for hygiene and, secu and security practice by the stakeholders. Our commitment which we need to be fulfilled to respected Shri Mukesh Kumar Gaisram and the Honorable Chief Minister is that we will bring Ayodhya on the map of the internet as one of the destinations. Like we have done for Varanasi today, well, we have no rooms there. Amritsar is same pattern. Uh, we will definitely sell this Ayodhya to the, to the people there. And in the coming two to three years, it will be one of the hot destinations, with Lucknow also getting its share, and this will generate a lot of employment in this area. Mukesh Mishram, Principal Secretary Uttar Pradesh, informed the August gathering. UP government's commitment to provide all possible support to trade to boost tourism in the state. Talking about the new tourism policy, he said, Uttar Pradesh is fast emerging as an internationally and domestically known and popular tourism destination. We used to get 1 million tourists per month visiting Kashi Vishwanath. Now we are on an average 4 million tourists visiting Kashi Vishwanath per month. So that is how once you develop tourism and once you basically develop infrastructure for tourists and then for getting spirituality, the solace, the calmness, everything is available. So, this is why it is in Uttar Pradesh. It gives all the questions of life. It gives all the questions of Uttar Pradesh. Our catch phrase is, UP is not seen, so India is not seen. And our vision is based on transforming Uttar Pradesh into a global and responsible tourism destination while ensuring best visitor experiences along with ample opportunities and economic prosperity for all. Department of Tourism has come up with a new tourism policy, 2022. It's very attractive policy, very lucrative policy, and it can accommodate all kind of amenities, all kind of stakeholders. Agar even tour travel operators bhi kehta hai ki I have to participate in some international conventions or travel marts, we will provide financial support. For national conventions, we will provide financial support. If he is to develop certain kind of interventions, IT interventions, website tayar karna hai sahab hamko, ek badhiya, on the basis of AR, VR. Aaj ka IT ek naya yug hai, so on the basis of that, हम उनको इक्विपमेंट देंगे हम उनको आईटी इंटरवेंशन के लिए भी सपोर्ट देने तैयार हैं बस आप केवल एक ही उसमें शर्त होगी यूपी को आप हाईलाइट करिए एंड जस्ट मेक यूपी एज 
an attractive destination. So uh, the key highlights of some key highlights of uh, our tourism policy, they are even proposal for film subsidy. In addition to what state government is providing, we will provide 2% additional subsidy to any film if they are shooting at tourism sites. Yes. Arvind Singh, Secretary Tourism Government of India informed the delegates about government's initiatives, he said. The Government of India sees tourism as one of the sectors which can bounce back and get jobs and economic opportunities back in the country. We know that tourism creates special opportunities, of, especially for women and youth, contributes to socio-economic development and plays a role in building bridges between societies and benefits visitors as well as local communities. It of course stimulates sustained and sustainable and diversified development in rural areas. We know that the sector was greatly impacted due to the pandemic in our country. The government, the civil society, the industry, all of us had to work hard in partnership to revive and try and get it back to pre-COVID levels at the earliest. Recently, ladies and gentlemen, we saw that our Prime Minister, along with the Secretary General of the UN, launched Mission Life at the Statue of Unity Ekta Nagar in Kevadia. And it, has been, it is an idea that has been championed by our Prime Minister. And the Mission Life is expected to be an India-led global mass movement that nudges individual and collective action to protect and preserve the environment. The Life Mission has a lot of relevance for travel and tourism and needs to be embraced in full. So we all, all the stakeholders present here, can contribute to Mission Life by adopting responsible tourism practices. Growth was in you know, airports such as Rachi, Bhubaneswar, Bagdogra, Gohati, and these, all these airports were showing above 25% growth. Raipur was showing 29% growth. And this was caused mainly due to A, expansion of airport infrastructure, and of course, the connectivity provided by the low-cost airlines who have now gone and penetrated and gone into these regions. Domestic travel is now coming back, and I'm sure we'll see this pattern once uh, domestic uh, travel reaches uh, its pre-COVID levels. We have also supported uh, the Uran scheme and uh, several routes, 46 tourism routes, viability gap funding has been given by us, by the Ministry of Tourism, and we will continue to support this because this is a scheme that has gained attraction and it has helped to provide connectivity and access to remote areas, to smaller airports and airports which were never heard of. Some names you would have not had heard of, they've come on the aviation map of India. An airport like Belgaon started becoming the second most busy airport in Karnataka after Bangalore. It was giving competition to Mangalore. Ashwini K. Patra, Minister of Tourism, Odisha invited all to visit and see best kept secret of India. We are also hosting the fourth edition of Eco Retreat, a seasonal glamping event that provides nice lifestyle experience at exotic locations in Odisha such as beaches, wildlife, sanctuaries, rivers, hills, stations, cities. This brings an opportunity to reveal India's best kept secret to the world. The program concluded with vote of thanks by Sunil Mishra, Honorary Treasurer Ato. You are watching Travel World Online.